Hello, Medical Coding Guy. How can I update my CEUs? It's very easy as step 1, 2, and 3. I will be teaching you today on how to update your CEUs. I am the Medical Coding Guy. Are you having a hard time finishing the required CEUs for your medical coding certifications? Are you tired of paying extension fees because of late submissions? Don't worry, this video is for you. But first, what are CEUs? CEUs are requirements for you to maintain your credentials if you have a medical coding certification. Just like any other medical professionals, you need to be updated with this field when it comes to the regulations, rules, compliance, and updates. CEUs measure how well you are committed in this field. But how often should we update the CEUs? And how many CEUs do we need? So, an AAPC core credential, such as your certified professional coder, for example, require 36 CEUs every two years, but it varies with other certifications as well. I will show you later on how you can see the required CEU that you need to submit and how you can access that one through your AAPC account. So all you need to do first is to go to AAPC website and then log in using your account. Okay, so if you're having problems with your login, please contact the email below. Okay. Once you're logged in, all you need to do is to go to your My AAPC and you can see immediately right here how many CEUs are due and when do you need to submit it, okay? So, let's try to click this Submit CEUs, alright? So, once you're here, you will be seeing here your CEU tracker, okay? So, how many CEUs you need to submit, alright? And when do you need to submit it, okay? And if in case you have multiple credentials like me, Alright, so these are the required number of CEUs you need to submit for each type of other certifications, okay? So please make sure before you uh, submit the CEUs for your other certification, make sure it will count towards your other certifications. Such as, for this one, I need to submit 12.67 for my CTO and 16 units for my CTMA. So as you can see, I've submitted three training sessions here, which has a total of this education hours. So again, you will see here the total number of CEUs that you've earned and the remaining CEUs that you need to submit, okay? And then once you completed the entire CEU numbers that you need to submit, then just go and submit CEUs, okay? So if you want to add CEUs, just click this one, okay? And then... Once you're routed to the next page, all you need to do is to put in here the index number. Index number are usually provided after the session that you will be finishing or if you will be doing the healthcare business monthly and your quarterly webinars from AAPC website, you can just safely put in the index number there, okay? You will put the date here of the day of that webinar or training session itself. If it's required, you can upload the document or the certificate that you got from that particular webinar or training session, okay? And then just click save. It will automatically be saved on the same page as earlier. And then of course, it will be verified by AAPC team. And that is how you will access the CA tracker from the AAPC website. But Maybe some of you are worried because do I need to pay something for the CEUs? For some, yes, but good thing is you can maintain your CEUs for free. So if you can follow all the guidelines that I will show you today, you can be able to maintain your CEUs without any extra charge. Number one, if you will be taking the Healthcare Business Monthly magazine, usually guys, it will be sent to your email that's registered through AAPC account. And also, if you will be completing the test, your self quizzes here, it will award you one CEU per quiz. If you will be multiplying it by 24 months, you will get exactly 24 CEUs. Of course, you just have to read the Healthcare Business Monthly magazine so you can be able to answer the test after that article. Okay, and please take note that test yourself quizzes are only available 12 months after the issue's published date. 
and this is how you can access your test, your soft quizzes using your Healthcare Business Monthly articles. All you need to do is to go to the home page of AAPC website and then under resources, you will see Healthcare Business Monthly Magazine, okay? So in this page, you can see the current issue. So if you want to read this, all right, and to learn more about what's the current updates about the medical coding world, you can access this one. And you can also access the monthly quizzes right here in the HBM monthly quiz. So click test yourself and then you will be routed to the past 12 months under your archive library for your test yourself quizzes. So as you can see, I can access from August 2021 test yourself quizzes up until this month of August 2022. Alright, number two, you can also attend your local chapter meetings. So this is one of my uh, favorites because again, you can learn stuff from other people around your local chapter about certain topics that sometimes you don't know yet or sometimes you want to enhance your knowledge about that certain topic. For example, next month, your local chapter will have a coding guidelines about OB coding. So again, you can be able to know OB coding even if you don't have experience for that. So that's a good chance as well to know your local chapter officers and know your local chapter members. Again, as I've said in my previous videos, networking is a must in this industry. The more people you know, the more knowledge you will get from them. So how many CEUs you will be getting for your local chapter meetings? It depends on how many hours they will be having the session. And that's gonna be one CEU per hour of your local chapter meeting. Actually, it's conducted once a month. And also, you can watch quarterly webinars from AAPC. I will show you shortly how to access that. So that's going to be one CEUs per webinar. So if you will get those eight webinars for the span of two years, that's going to be eight CEUs. And this is how you can access the quarterly webinars from AAPC. So go to your AAPC website account and then go to this corner right here, My AAPC. Click this and click Earn CEUs right here. After that, go to this area here under Continuing Education on the left side of your screen and then go to Low Cost CEUs. Under low cost CEUs, you can click for yearly webinars right here, okay? So just click that one and then you will be routed to go to this page. So you just watch the videos right here and it will award you one CEU per webinar. You can also check with your local institutions for low cost and free CEUs. You can also access wide range of topics from the AAPC website, okay? Again, paid stuffs are also awesome. And you can choose whatever topics you want, whatever subjects you want to enhance in that specific specialty, okay? You can purchase an annual webinar subscription from AAPC. And you can pick your own topic for a low price as well, all right? So it will give you a good value for your money if you will be purchasing the annual webinar subscription. Okay, and if you want to widen your network and see the experts in this medical coding field, ABC is always hosting HealthCon events. You can check their websites to find out more about the upcoming HealthCon events, even in the international side. Okay, you can either join via live in person or you can also watch virtually online at the comfort of your seat. So check AAPC.com for more information about their health content. And that's it for today, guys. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video to your colleagues and friends who is having a hard time locating for free CEUs. So long. See you next time. Always remember, without knowledge, there is no power. Bye-bye.